we're here for you. Check back every week and stay tuned. Resident Evil Revelations 2 has finally made its way onto the PlayStation Vita, after what seems like such a long time. But is the title even worth picking up at all? And if it is, why should you dish out your money to buy the PlayStation Vita version and replay this title again? Many fans have been dying for another big title on the PlayStation Vita, no pun intended there, and Resident Evil is the game to make or break their hearts. Luckily, the title truly delivers a worthwhile and enjoyable experience. It also adds a great title to the awfully low amount of horror titles on the PlayStation Vita. The PS Vita, like I mentioned before, has been in desperate need of a horror title. One that could scare gamers but offer them that AAA gameplay that they so desire. And quite frankly, there couldn't have been a better title than Resident Evil Revelations 2. This delivers exactly what the fans have been needing. The gameplay here is nothing extraordinary, but still amazing nonetheless, if that makes any sense at all. Initially jumping in, the game plays well with little issues. Occasionally, however, the frames would skip around if sudden jolted movements were made, but honestly, nothing too Borderlands-ish. Quite frankly, from the viewpoint of frame rate, this is easily the best port yet on the PlayStation Vita hands down. Unfortunately, the game's biggest downside is in its load times. Starting up the game can take up to half a minute, which actually is a lot longer than it seems. Beyond those two issues, the gameplay here is near flawless, or at least not too noticeable. For those of you who are unaware, the game is presented to the player in an episodic format. Each episode offers a great amount of gameplay value, and the PlayStation Vita version has even more gameplay value added, but we will get into that later. When playing through each episode, players can easily swap camera angles to first person. You can also use the bottom of the touchscreen to use an herb, or activate your sub-weapon screen by pressing L and the touchscreen at the same time. Once players memorize these, the gameplay becomes so much more enjoyable. Finally, the multiplayer here is near perfect, with over 200 levels for your duo to take on. Without the addition of the multiplayer feature, it is hard to imagine we would be rating this title so well. For the first time ever on the PlayStation Vita, you can jump into an insanely scary experience with your best bud for a bunch of screams and giggles. The experience truly is second to none. With the still intact and awesome gameplay, you could easily forget that you were playing a AAA console title on the go without sacrificing anything at all. Sure, the frame rate isn't the greatest and the load times can be long, but it's not hard to overlook this when you actually dive into the game. The gameplay here gets an 8 out of 10. It's likely we didn't sell you 100% on your purchase by the gameplay portion of the review. Well, get ready to officially be sold on the title, because the features that Freema Studio and Sony packed into this title is something for Vita fans to truly rejoice over. Alongside the original four episodes, the studio has also packed in a whole nother two episodes right into the game. So for the original price, you are getting 150% of the awesome title, and that's certainly nothing to complain about. Alongside those extra episodes, the studio also added some other amazing features that include Raid Mode. Raid Mode plays extremely well on the system and comes packed with over 200 levels and 15 playable characters. Finally, for the additional features, Freema Studio threw in additional throwback map pack, additional character costumes, and more storage expansions. Every possible feature us gamers could want has been placed into the super packed version of Resident Evil Revelations 2. It's not often us Vita owners feel like we get spoiled, but just from the features of the title, I can say I definitely feel spoiled. The features here receive a 9 out of 10. Check out what I found. If you see any weak walls, I bet I could drill through. The story hasn't changed much here outside of the obvious episodes added to the game. 
Resident Evil isn't necessarily known for having the most gripping story in the world, but it certainly is worth giving a go. The story is somewhat captivating and can draw players in alongside the great gameplay. The story here follows Claire Redfield and Maura Burton as they were kidnapped and left upon a remote island. On this island they find that the afflicted are in wait and you begin to fight through pure evil to survive the island and discover its mysteries. The bonus episodes show how Mora struggled with her survival on the island and the other one will learn more about the very mysterious Natalia and her very special abilities. To avoid any spoilers we're just gonna end it right there. The story here is nothing astounding, but it still is one enjoyable experience nonetheless. You certainly will be scared, excited, and drawn into the story of Claire and Mora. Overall, we give the story an 8. Viruses are stolen, re-engineered, misused with tragic results. So, to answer your looming question, yes, this title is totally worth picking up. For only $29.99, you gain so much value and have nothing to lose. The biggest disappointments lie in the long loading times and the large memory content taken up. However, both of these issues can easily be understood and overlooked. Resident Evil Revelations 2 is officially one of the best ports to ever hit the PlayStation Vita. Sony, kudos to you and continue to bring us amazing titles. Make sure to subscribe to be entered in our weekly game giveaways and leave a comment of what you thought. Will you be buying Resident Evil or not? Until next time, Vita Boys out. Yeah, we're the Vita Boys here for you. Check back every week. Stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe today to be notified. Stay up to date. We are covering everything PS Vita. Weekly game giveaways. Come see us. Gameplays, unboxing, reviews, and more. With a lot coming and more in store We're the Vita Boys and we're here for you Check back 